All right, everybody, look. Toby Nwigwe is a Nigerian-American rapper from Houston, Texas, that has caught the attention of Michelle Obama, Dave Chappelle, Erica Badu, Chance the Rapper, and Michael B. Jordan. Damn that, Steve Harvey. Just to name a few. Now, his unwavering faith and soulful roots have pushed his new song, Try Jesus, to the top of the charts. Try Jesus, not me. Cause I throw hands. Try Jesus, please don't try me. Because I fight. About getting slapped, but if you touch me or mine, we gonna have to scrap. With no record label, no promotion, this song has reached number two on the iTunes hip hop chart, number twelve on the Billboard music chart. Welcome to the show, man. Thank you for joining. Hey, it's an honor to be with you, man. I promise you, it's an honor to be with you, man. Thank you for having me. His song is my new anthem. I have said it for two weeks now on my national radio show. Let me tell you this. Come Do on. you know the first day I heard your song? I sent your song to Joel Osteen, Bishop T.D. Jakes, Bishop Geddes down in South Carolina, Bishop wow. Kenneth Ulmer in Los Angeles. Bishop Ulmer said him and his wife almost crashed a car listening to that song. It touched so many people. Yeah. Look, I'm a man of faith. Yeah. But I do. Yeah. I only practice entry level Christianity. Entry level. He yeah. said, I'm a stay. Advanced is a little bit much for me because I already yeah. know that if you slap me, this is going to go very different. Oh, bro. <laughs> At my core, that's exactly how I feel. And it's just like, I promise you, I'm with, I'm with all it is. <laughs> but if any of that come against anything that I got going on, it's gonna be you're gonna be like, man, I don't think he is who he said, but I talk, but don't you can never say that I didn't tell you what I was gonna do. And I'm gonna <laughs> stay true to that. Hey man, listen, my father once told me, he said, son, if you tell somebody the truth and they don't believe you, that ain't your fault. Thank you, Pops. <laughs> Bruh, just don't come over here with that. Hey man, let me ask you this. What inspired you to write? Try Jesus. Oh man, I'll be honest with you. So I saw my boy uh, Jabari Johnson just playing around on Instagram, posted up a video doing the uh, portions of the song that he sung, and I hit him up like, "Yo, let's make the, let's make this a song." And I put my little splash on it, and then uh, told him to come down because he in Dallas told him to come down to Houston. We made a video uh, in about two days, uh, put the video out, and then the rest is history. It's so good. Hey man, you released your music without a record label promotion yep. or marketing. What went into the executing that vision? Man, I'll be honest with you. I, I just I just think the way the music industry is set up is it, perfect for uh, independence right now, especially if you have a vision. Hey man, now, Michelle Obama. Come on, talk to me now. Come on, I'm, Come I'm, on now. To, I'm doing it right now. Yeah. <laughs> Michelle Obama is a big fan of your music. Yeah. When that woman taps in, you gotta go, okay, what did I yeah. do? That's got to be special. Yeah. How would you describe your music style? I describe my music style as uh, life music. I speak to a specific uh, demographic of people who came from where I come from. I make music specifically specifically for that group of people. Anybody else that get it outside of that, man, it's beautiful. You also uh, released a video about Breonna Taylor that went viral, yeah. man. Well, what message did you want to send with that video? Oh, very simple. Stop killing black people and arrest the killers of Breonna Taylor and Elijah McClain. It's been taking way too long. It's very simple. That's the first song I ever did that ain't had no rhyming words. It was just a straight message. With everything that's happening in the world today, with the COVID, yeah. with everybody becoming keenly aware now of what's really yeah. been happening to a lot of people of color, man. I just think all of this is falling in at a, at a time that's so important, man. Yeah. Hey man, they used to play football, man. How did you transition from playing ball to the recording studio? Man, I promise you, what I did was I just literally utilized everything that I learned from playing football, like the discipline, the perseverance, the persistence, uh, the consistency. I just applied that to what I do with the music. 
that's why I was able to release something every single week and be able to ultimately be sitting here with you in yeah. that fire jacket that you got on. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna play around with. It. We ain't gonna we ain't gonna act like it's it's not in front of us. <laughs> I see what you're doing. What you size what you doing. wear, man? What size you? Wear? Oh, don't do them like that, Steve. Come on, just tell me. Don't what, do them like that. Tell me what size you wear. Man, it's an XL, man. Forty-four in the chest. <laughs> I'm not gonna play. I'm getting your information. I'm gonna send you one. Hey, give him the real address. Don't give him the one that we be giving other people. <laughs> give him the real address. What you say? Yeah. Get oh, this to my yeah. house. No, oh, bro, listen to me. I'm gonna give it to you because you don't understand what you done gave to me. Doug, you you gave me an anthem. Sometimes, man, I just be on the radio show and just bust out. Try Jesus. I just throw it out. Don't try me. Yeah, yeah. Cause I throw hands. I've been throwing yeah. hands my whole life. My mother has been gone for 23 years. Yeah. I was in a skating rink in Detroit when I was 53 years old. Yeah. A dude joking said yeah. something about my mama. Oh no. We was in the skating rink busy. I Whoa. had on a suit because, dog, at, the rule at my house was you could never say nothing about my mother. Respect your mom. My mama is uh, still living, and let me just tell you, I'm talking about you above Obama in her eyes. <laughs> oh, when when, it, when when she see this, oh, I'm I'm it for life, man. So I just appreciate you having me on. <laughs> oh, my mama gonna love this. No, man, it's it's a pleasure for me. I want to talk to you about your business too, man, because your business. It's a family-run business. Tell me about that. I couldn't do this without uh, my wife and my baby. My, my baby's over there laid out on the bed. This is my wife right here. Oh, I see. Hi. Yeah. Where did y'all meet, man? Oh, man, we met at the church. But I was coming to the church, and she was running from the, <laughs> the church. Yeah. Tell me about this new album you got. It's called The Pandemic Project. What can people expect? They pick this album up. Which I'm going, you don't understand what I'm going to do for you, man. Come you don't on, understand. Come on, come on. Matter of fact, I'm going to invite you on my radio show. Yeah. You, Facebook going to have us global now. This yeah. one right here, this is global. This is yeah. going to be huge, man. But as we'll, soon as we get through with this, I want your information. I got to send you this jacket. That's yeah. first. Come on now. So yo, I'm serious. I'm going to send you the jacket. You give me your size. I'm gonna surprise you with something too. What size like shoe you wear, man? Twelve and a half. Oh. Or twelve. Or oh. twelve if they don't make half sizes. I, hey, bro, I love you, man. You, you, you man, really I love got you to too, understand man. that, man. Tell your mother I love her. Ah! <laughs> it's over now. Oh, it's over. Hold up, I'm gonna do something. What's her name? Ah! Hey, let's go. All right, here we go. V Vicky Mwigwe. This I is promise. Steve Harvey. I'm shouting out to one of my favorite girls out there, Vicky Mwigwe. I want to tell you that I love you, and girl, I love your boy. How about that? We, hey, it's over for the, until the day she die, I'm Gucci, I promise you. <laughs> I promise you. I'm talking about every fight that she, we, we was about to have in the future, we good now. <laughs> Hey man, you my man from now on, you feel me? Love, oh, man. Love. I got nothing but love and respect for you. Try Jesus, man. don't try yeah. me, cause I throw hands and I fight. All day. My man, I love you, Toby, appreciate you, man. Love you, man, appreciate you having me. Thank you, yeah. My favorite interview right there. Try Jesus. Come on. Not me. Cause I throw hands